time is outside cleaning the garage. So I'll give you guys a quick update. Front wheel tire had a small bubble. If you see a bubble on the side of your tire, get it fixed immediately. Uh, it's very dangerous. That means the sidewall of your tire has been compromised and you are waiting for a blowout. Don't want that. So I went to Tesla the other day. They gave me a new tire. I paid for a new tire. Let's be clear. Got that on there. Boom. Now we got the back tire. Last year into summer, trying to be sexy with wifey. We driving downtown Chicago. Boom! Hit a stupid pothole. You couldn't see it though. You couldn't see it because it was raining. Had no idea. I literally screamed so loud uh, because I just knew that my tires and wheels were done. Thank God it was just a small bend. It did cause my car to wobble just a little bit. You could hear it. Sound like that Bishop Jake's message. <laughs> it cost $125 per wheel to repair. I'm thinking it was gonna cost way more than that. Blessing in disguise. Shout out to Alloy Wheel Repair in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Thank you. I got this jack, it's lifted up. Now I gotta let it down and then tighten the lug nuts and then put the Tesla center cap on. This is what the other side looks like. So this is the other side. These are the aero wheels. We'll do a time lapse to let you guys see the process of putting these on yourself. Now, after I put these on, I'm probably still gonna go to Tesla and just make sure the tires are balanced and everything. I do stuff the right way. All right, toodles. pressure and everything is is good and uh, my job here is done 45 minutes to an hour the first time I did it last year when I first got the wheels it took me like two hours because I was trying to make sure I was doing everything like super precise and and good so I got it down packed now and uh other wheels are there two there two over here uh, yeah, and then y'all see Nikita, Nikita the Beast. We done, now I'm gonna pump these tires up and uh, get in here and wash my hands. Quarantine day six. We have now really been, it's not mandatory, but we've been asked by Governor Pritzker. Uh, Stay inside. Now they've really been closing the stores to the public. It's only curbside pickup for a lot of places. Except grocery stores. Except grocery stores. So, we're about to go on a ride because we've been in the house all day. I haven't left the house since Tuesday. Yeah, so, she hasn't left at all. I mean, I feel no ways, but I probably should get outside and breathe. Yeah. So, yeah. Gigi, we'll be back. You be good, you hear? Go. About to go look at some houses. Go. All right. Uh, so now we're here in Evicto. Well, I'm here. Vicky's in the car, and uh, just picking up our food. Um, it's so crazy that like everybody is only doing delivery and takeout and carry out because of you know, this coronavirus, man. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Never experienced nothing like this in my whole life. Y'all stay strong out there, but we finna eat these shrimp tacos. This is gonna be quiet. It's day seven. Social distancing is in full effect. I'm just here at Whole Foods. Picking up some fish. 
because on Mondays we eat salmon and Brussels sprouts. So this is quite interesting as we continue to document uh, our lives as we live through this extremely strange coronavirus epidemic, pandemic, outbreak. Uh, praying for things to get better soon. Uh, but hopefully we learn what we need to learn while we're in these moments so that we can get back to better days. Made it back home, like I showed you guys already. Got the salmon. Then I wanted, I wanted some snacks, you know what I'm saying? Cause we're gonna watch some movies or something tonight. So Twizzlers, you already know what it is. Then Oreos, had to do it, had to. I didn't do the double stuff because Vicky doesn't like the double stuff, but I did the regulars because I don't like the thins. Let's see what the queen is doing. Hello. Hi, folks. How are you doing today? Um, I'm taking a break from playing Sims and learning TikTok dances to show you guys something that I got uh, because of your suggestions on Instagram. First of all, can we not discuss how I have like no eyelashes left? It's just really sad. Uh, I can't get my eyelashes done. I can't get my nails done. I'm just really sad right now. Like I haven't had a self-care day in so long and I don't know how to act. That may sound materialistic of me or something, but I start feeling real ugly and unsatisfied with my life. So I'm gonna need to get my eyebrows on or something because, ugh. All right, so I got a package. It's from Dyson. You guys told me to get the new, newest Dyson, um, the newest Dyson, did you tell me to get it? I don't remember, but I know my followers were telling me about the Dyson B10 and B11 um because i need a new vacuum the vacuum that i currently have is the shark i don't know where it's at but i have a shark upright uh rotator something something we had one and then the people from uh kirby if you guys know what kirby is it's like really expensive vacuum cleaners that like deep clean your home and if you have a kirby specialist come out to your house to show you how to use it they'll deep clean your house for free so people were like suggesting they're like giving us like a free uh consultation or whatever that happened when me and cam were first married like the first year we were married and that was like a test of our marriage because i was so mad that he let the people in my house right at dinner time and we sat there for three hours telling them no and they kept trying to get us to buy this vacuum anyways long story short we didn't get the vacuum they used our vacuum to vacuum up a whole bunch of baking soda off the floor to show us how the Kirby works better than our current vacuum. I had just got a brand new vacuum. They freaking messed up my vacuum, like got baking soda all in it. It was puffing out baking soda for months. I was so mad. So then we got a new vacuum when we moved here. Cam's mom bought us a new vacuum. So we got a new vacuum when we moved here to this house and I've had that one ever since. That was like three years ago she got us that vacuum. Two years ago, three years ago. And it's fine. It was working fine. But I have a problem with vacuuming. Like, I'm just not even going to try to sugarcoat it for y'all. I am terrible at normal everyday things. I mess something up and break something every time. No matter what chore I'm doing, I end up breaking something. I don't know why what's wrong with me. I'm just a klutz. Like... Great with a computer, bad with anything else. Um, so I broke my vacuum, long story short. I broke the vacuum and I needed a new one. Sorry, my bun was falling down. Needed a new one, so I bought the uh, Dyson one because everybody suggested it. Um, well, not everybody suggested it. I was looking at getting a cordless vacuum because I have a two-story home and while my house isn't that big, I don't really necessarily need a huge, mega, heavy-duty vac vacuum. I don't like having to carry my vacuum up and down the stairs to vacuum. So I would vacuum upstairs and downstairs on different days. My stairs would get vacuumed probably once every blue moon because I hate having to detach something, carry that upstairs, carry it up each step and vacuum the steps. 
too much work for my lazy behind. So I was like, you know what? In order to help with me getting things done, I'm gonna get me a better vacuum. So I bought, I asked you guys on Instagram which one I should get um, out of all of the Dysons. I did a lot of research. I watched a couple YouTube videos. There's a guy who does really good reviews if you guys wanna know more about any of those, any of the vacuums that he was talking about. He has a great video. Shared every pro and con and then like, you know, what categories you're looking at as far as like if you need something for carpet, if you need something for hardwood, if you need something that's gonna be heavy duty, if you need something just to pick something up. Like it, he was very, very thorough. So I watched his reviews and came to the conclusion that I needed a Dyson. Um, and my bougie behind does not like to buy things that are not current and up to date. So I bought the most expensivest. I didn't get the outsize because the outsize is really big. So I got the Torque Drive V11. And yeah, so I think I'm gonna do a review on my main channel. I wanted to do an unboxing on here just to show y'all what it looked like and all of that. So I like to buy things and I think this quarantine really encouraged me to get this for myself because I just feel like it was time for me to get a vacuum that's worthy of me using it. I really did not like having those big old uprights. So. All right, so here's what the inside of the box looks like. Scan your QR code to activate your two-year warranty, free parts and labor, basically, uh, which will come in handy because I've heard that sometimes things malfunction and you need the replacement and they will replace it for you for free if you have the warranty, so that's good. And then it comes with nine different attachments for the actual vacuum itself. So this vacuum can be interchanged. It can be used for a lot of different things. I also got another box over there full of stuff. So they gave me a free box of extra deep cleaning attachments. So that's cool. They do have three different colors, I believe, on Dyson. They only have the black one on actuals, on Dyson's actual website. Best Buy is open for pickups and stuff. So um, I was going to go get it from Best Buy, but then I decided I'm just going to order from Dyson or there were some deals with my credit card that I could get with Dyson. Um, so that's why I ordered directly from them. I could get extra points. So yeah, hopefully when this quarantine's over and I actually do get to travel again, I'll use the points that I got from this expensive vacuum. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this cause I can't do it on camera and I'll come back. barrel thing that all of the dirt goes into easy to empty it looks like there's a screen here and it says that it needs to charge but this is the main floor brush also this thing here where you can open and close these vents in the front if you want to keep stuff out or let more stuff in so and as you can see it isn't really heavy or anything it's very lightweight very lightweight it rolls pretty well it's got 10 minutes on it so i actually could vacuum down here if i wanted to now this vacuum is also supposed to be able to switch from different modes depending on what flooring you're on so if i go from vacuuming the carpet to vacuuming the hard floor it's supposed to change you can change the mode from auto eco and boost mode. Boost mode is gonna use more of your available time, charging time. Let's say if you wanna go from carpet, cleaning your carpet to, as you can see, my floors are nice and dirty because I haven't vacuumed in like a week since my stuff is broke. But um, yeah, so if I go from cleaning the, the, if I go from cleaning the carpet to cleaning hard floor, it should change modes. So let's see how that does. <laughs> Oh, it does, it changes. Wow, and now I have 20 minutes instead of 10. Good afternoon, hi, how are you guys? Hope you guys are doing well. Uh, just checking in with you all. It's quarantine day nine, I believe. It depends, on depends on what day you started quarantining. We started quarantining last Monday, so it's technically day nine. Um. What was I gonna say? Oh yes, Cam and I are going to 
shoot content today. Um, so I got dressed. I put on a face. I did a live keep ready with me on my main channel. So you guys can check that out if you want to watch me do my makeup. Um, but yeah, we are headed to the mall, which is empty, but perfect for us to shoot content because there's a like... Uh, underpass kind of area where I shot some pictures before so we're gonna shoot some car content over there and I'll take you guys behind the scenes of that process um, hopefully if my camera doesn't run out of space for some reason I have no space left on my phone I have thousands and thousands of photos on my phone so that's probably why but um, yeah so we're headed to the mall and then after that tonight we're going to church um, well, Cam has been going on Sundays and Wednesdays to help with the stream. Um, I'm going to be going to help as well. Um, so that should be fun because I haven't been to church in a long time. And I definitely miss singing in the choir. I hate being at home and not being able to sing with them. So i um, going to sing in the choir tonight. I'll be uh, on tenor duty. So yeah, that's all. Just wanted to update you guys. We'll show you guys what's going on when we get to our location. So we just got kicked out of our original spot. Where we were shooting pics, but it's okay because they told us to come over by the mural where people would normally take pics, and it looks really cool. But this is a cool mural, so um, hopefully, y'all can hear me. The wind isn't blowing, but Cam's taking pictures of his car. Cam on the cam with the Tess, Jarvis, Siano. I definitely want some phone pics in front of this mural, so just let me. No tartar sauce, just hot. The hot sauce is good for me. No tartar sauce, hot sauce. Yes, hot sauce only. Can't have a whole conversation in the drive. We we were supposed to be gone all last week. <laughs> okay. We're at an awkward angle, but we're gonna try to do this in the car. That's what. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> okay. That's the Michael Scott on me. Okay. That smells awful. You are the most dramatic individual. It's only because I've ever known. Praying for all of you husbands with dramatic wives. Praying for all of you wives that with live dramatic lives. That end up with dramatic hives. Praying for all of you wives that have extremely loud and annoying husbands. So very I'm a, oh, so I'm annoying. Very extroverted and loud and loud. So I'm annoying. Am I annoying? Hmm. Am I annoying? Am I? Tell the truth. Tell us how you feel. Hmm. Why you bulls bitten? Why you bulls bitten? Are you yet holding on? So, first of all, we got two cookies. Shout out to my man, Cartier. Cartier hooked us up. I don't know where to put these. Back right. in your bag? I gotta get my stuff out. Oh, uh. I got Texas Peat hot sauce. They were trying to give me some tartar, but I don't like that stuff. All right, babe, give us some money down. What's going on? I got Portillo's. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I got Chick Fil A. This the fish sandwich challenge. We hungry. She got waffle fries. I got waffle cut fries. Huh? Okay, I'm with Portillo's, and you got one. I went to Chick Fil A and I was gonna get something different, but then I was like, you know what? Let me be, a, let me be adventurous and try something new. We're gonna try both and let y'all know how they taste, which one's better. All right. I'm gonna let you go first. I like to eat my fried. <laughs> Fale. <laughs> hey, what you say, man? Hey, Fale. What you say, man? You get the fish sandwich, man? Boy, that fish sandwich go crazy, man. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes yes sir so this is what the fish sandwich look like sorry in advance if I get crumbs in your car okay here it is it's got a pickle on it and that's it yeah she got the plain one she doesn't like deluxe she de oh yeah. you got deluxe I don't know what comes on this one I didn't even ask I'm just saying you have the plain I have the basic ba basic Betty it's just got two pickles on here and some fish. You ain't put no salt. You ain't gonna put no hot sauce on it? Not yet. I want to taste what it tastes okay, like. Okay, 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 okay. My bad, my bad. Hmm. 
It's not bad. It tastes like fish sticks. On some bread. We'll pick them. But the fish sticks have Chick-fil-A breading around it. So it tastes like chicken sandwich, just not chicken. Put a little hot sauce on there. Okay. Okay. Deleted 200 videos. Oh, oh. Mine is beautiful. It's so beautiful. His has cheese, lettuce. Man. And mayo on it. This remind me of when I used to eat the fish filet sandwiches. Fish filet? Yeah, fish filet sandwiches at uh. What she order? Loved them. You know what I'm saying? I used to, then they had the double fish filet. I used to kill them joints. This is what this reminded me of, and it kind of looked like it, kind of smelled like it. So you know what I'm saying? We about to go ahead and dive in. See how this tastes. <laughs> you feel me? So right off the rip, it tastes just like a fish filet sandwich. <laughs> 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 it's good though. I kind of wish I had some like sweet and sour sauce. You feel me? You want some hot sauce? Nah. I, I thought I just said I kind of wish I had some sweet and sour sauce. I think I threw it out like an idiot. Yup. Some told me I normally always keep Chick fil A's honey mustard sauce in here, but I threw it out. Hey, this right here good though. It's smack. You get that soft lighting. You know what I'm saying? Ooh, look at those kids. It's got mayo on it. Yep. Nah, bro. I could kind of do it, deal with the lettuce, but with mayo, lettuce and mayo. Nah. Well, this is a not a not a great review because neither one of us wants to try either one of our <laughs> our sandwiches. So, babe, just bite into it. Here, you gotta taste it so you can let the people know. Why you bite so big? Yours is hot and it tastes more microwaved mine tastes more fishy you said mine tastes like fish sticks like frozen fish sticks yeah let me have a little bitty baby bite of yours why you have to put your tongue on it who who eats like that <laughs> the whole conversation was a pause yeah yours does taste more fishy but it's good though yeah, mine, the fish yeah. is good. I wouldn't want it with cheese and all that stuff on it, but Portillo's is better. If you're going to get a fish sandwich, go to Portillo's. That's the verdict on that. But this one's not bad, though. Honestly, the Chick-fil-A one is not bad. Nothing else you want to say? Mm -mm. So, babe, how are you doing during this quarantine? What have you learned about yourself? Daily check-in. You first. I'm surprised. No, I'm not surprised. I will say that I'm frustrated because my productivity is not what it should be considering that this is already how I live my life. But I also have to take into account that this is a pretty traumatic experience. Although I'm not afraid and like I do well in crisis, you know, like I don't freak out. I don't really like get anxious at all. But at the same time, in the back of my mind, I know something is not right. So it makes me feel like something's not right. You know what I'm saying? My productivity is kind of being shot by that. You know, and everybody's like checking in on each other. And like, like even like in my emails, it's like work is not the same because all the brands are like emailing me talking about, we're just doing a check-in. We want to make sure you guys are okay. We're checking the state of the mental health of all of our creators. And I mean, they're really like trying to be, it's, it's very interesting. So my mom made a very good point. She's like, like, think about all the people who like, they distract themselves with work and stuff. Like, with going out and doing stuff when they, so they don't like being home. Like, now that they have to be home, like, yep. people are like suicidal. I, I couldn't imagine being locked up in the house with somebody I don't like. Because I'm, I'm a little annoyed by Cam and Gigi, and I love them. Imagine if I didn't like y'all. I don't even bother you. Something to consider. You don't bother me, but... Because I'm so used to being isolated by myself and I thrive when I'm isolated and by myself, since you're there, it's like when I'm trying to get things done, like... But the minute I'm spending say I'm going to go somewhere... I'd be sad. What are you doing? But but I can't... <sighs> but... <laughs> I'd be sad because like I want you there, but at the same time, I know that you can't be there all the time because I have to have my own 
I, I can't work in an environment where there's other people. Like, how long are you going to be gone? Because I'll be missing you. I, I, I miss you when you're gone, but I also know that I need that time for you to be gone. I don't like it, but I need it. I mean, I don't get tired of you. I just need space. I say I'm, I'm say I'm, I'm, I'm good in my normal environment pre quarantine, 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. Oh, yeah. I am not good if you catch my drift. But because I am not doing that and leaving and going to this particular place i love life i've been so productive with ministry and like getting all of our social media stuff like up to par and we launched our podcast this week we you know relaunched our youtube like we've been going hard with our social media presence like our, our media team has been grinding to make sure that we can get the message and stuff out like this is what i've been wanting to do you know I, all last week i had several conversations with you know uh creatives in ministry where we had a chance to talk and delve into some things in regards to ministry and being a millennial and quarantine and coronavirus and crisis and pandemic and so on and so forth and, like i love it um you know even just being able to get some little work stuff done around the house reorganizing the garage and sweeping it out i like to do that stuff anyway and so uh even just you know changing out my tires and putting them on like i love that kind of stuff like people don't necessarily get to see that side of me um so i've had an opportunity and chance to do that depending on when this video goes out like i i, I probably like i can't go back to work the way i used to like i do it i'm very happy for you because this is you know i've been praying that that you would be get that you would get the freedom to do what you need to do i said that in the beginning of the year in our video i said that i wanted that to happen and boom the lord has just been answering prayer let me just tell y'all how the lord be answering prayers i was i was so confident going into this year i'm like this is it look what happens if you believe <laughs> at least one of us is getting stuff done I have been struggling. I've been playing Sims and not wanting to do nothing else. The last few months of last year and the beginning of this year, I didn't really have a chance to slow down. And Punta Cana kind of kicked it off. I, I slowed down a little bit then, but I was still working a lot. And then when I got back, I was on 10 the whole time. I haven't really had time to just really take time to myself, to just sit and think. As much as I like to think, because y'all know I like to think. I'm, I'm a thinker. I'm a five. <laughs> Me and Cam took Enneagram tests. And uh, we figured out what our Enneagram numbers were. And I have been saying that I'm a five all day, every day, just to be annoying. We hope you guys are doing well. You know, we hope that y'all are okay. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May his face shine upon you. May he be good to you. We just hope that Amen. you um, that you guys are taking taking it easy. Really using this time to just because Vicky phone finna shut off any minute. I know. So, yep. All right, we gonna head on out.